three of us. We've got purple on because we're turning Georgia purple. That's our theme for tonight. Uh, and then to that, I don't know if anybody saw the debates, the uh, Clinton-Trump debate. Uh, I don't know about you, I'm very proud of the way Hillary handled herself compared to her opponent. Um, so, uh, when's the next debate? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. That's the Vice President's tomorrow night. Okay. And Sunday will be, again, the second debate. Second debate? On Sunday. On Sunday. So, if anybody's interested, uh, maybe we could do something where we meet somewhere to watch the debates together. One of the upcoming debates. A couple people have mentioned it. If there's interest, I'll, I'll try to organize that. So, again, I don't have an agenda, but uh, we're here tonight to talk about how to get out the vote. I'm going to ask, I mean, we've got some ideas, some things we've done in the past, but we also want to hear from you, things that you think we could be doing. Uh, I would like to first acknowledge there's a couple of candidates running for office who are with us today that could use your support. Uh, would you mind standing up? What name, what you're running for, what you're going to do? All right, I'm Jason Kane. I'm running for Solicitor General, which is the State Court Prosecutor for Wales County. And if y'all help turn out the vote, uh, support my candidacy. I would appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Brad Carter. I'm up from Lyles County Corner. And I need you, but I hope you don't need me. <laughs> and if you would like to help with their campaigns, I'm sure they would be more than happy to accept your help of any kind, financial, or call, making calls, knocking on doors. I uh, would like to give you an update on some of the things that we've been doing. We did have a, uh, as we always do, we had a booth, a tent at the uh, Pride Festival a couple weeks ago. Uh, we always have a good presence there. We got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people signed up to be on our email list. Our email list has grown. Uh, <coughs> Gretchen, if you can help me, I think it was, we're getting close to 900, 900 people on our email list. So that's a lot of folks get our emails. Not everybody opens them every month, but our list continues to grow. Uh, we also had a showing at the Hey Hyro Honeybee Festival this past weekend, and it was fantastic. Anybody go? That's the gym. Yeah, the gym. Thank you for volunteering, by the way. I think you were there on Friday. Um, I heard it wasn't so busy on Friday. Saturday was packed. Couldn't move. And there were a lot of people that were really appreciative that we had a tent there. Um, I don't know, Gretchen, in the past, have we, have we been? Some years we have, and some years we have not. I think if we're not doing it, it's a huge missed opportunity. So there were so many people that just appreciated that we were there, that were coming up saying thank you. Republicans did have a tent there, and they were passing out Trump signs and had t-shirts. So I think every year we should have a strong presence. If we can remember next year, I think it's also a good idea to have the Democrat Party in the, the parade. I know Felicia Williams, she had her own car with the magnets on the side, waving the people, throwing out candy. People loved it. Uh, there's, I don't think there's any reason we would be allowed to be in the parade, do a little decorating. Um, no, anybody can be in the parade. Just get in the line. Just get in the line. Do you have to sign up nope. beforehand? No, nope. just get up. in the line. Oh. All right. Wow. So, so next year, we definitely need to do that. Hey, Ira, I think we struggle. Democrats struggle a little bit. Hey, Ira. So we'll plan on doing that next year. Uh, young Democrats at VSU. Uh, I have, I've recently become the advisor for that club as of this week. So I'm doing everything I can to get students interested in participating. We've got a couple students that are very active. Uh, the president couldn't be here, I think, tonight. Caitlin Hardy. Uh, if you hadn't heard, we hosted a Meet the Candidates Forum. Uh, we were both able to join. There weren't a lot of people showed up. We advertised it. A lot of people didn't show up, but we did make the front page of the Velocity Daily Times, if you didn't see it. We were at the top, top of the fold. That was a big win for us. Uh, just so you know, we did invite the Young Democrats to co-sponsor the event, host it with us. Originally, the Vice President of that club said that they would, but the President of the organization, for whatever reason, just didn't want to join us with that. I mean, young Republicans. Young Republicans at VSU. So they flip-flop, and I, I talk with them, I try to tell them it's not hard, so we've done this in the past. It's, you know, for whatever reason, they decide against it, which is fine, because at the end of the day, we look fantastic by hosting that event. So that was one event that they hosted. Uh, they've, young Democrats have already done two voter registration drives on campus. So for two days, they've sat there all day registering students to vote. Uh, Caitlin's been doing really well at that. There have been other organizations that are also registering students to vote as well. 
the uh, Black Student Organization has done at least two or three voter registration drives. I think fraternities and sororities are doing it as well. So that's good news. Uh, this Wednesday, Young Democrats are sponsoring a movie at VSU. It's open to the public. It's called The Choice. Has anybody heard about this movie? That's, it, you saw it? It's amazing, right? Yeah. It actually gets, it's uh, about a little, little less than two hours, but it gives the biographies uh, of Hillary Clinton side by side with Donald Trump. And I think it's done in a very objective manner, uh, but it kind of gives you some insight into why Hillary is the way she is, why Donald is the way he is. It's an interesting insight, uh, although some might agree, disagree. Uh, so that's what we've been doing so far. We have been getting some Hillary signs in yards. Uh, if you get them directly from the campaign, they're $20, they're $20 plus $5 shipping and handling. So it's a little bit cost prohibitive for a lot of people. So, but we do have, uh, I know we got one in Gorinto, uh, Donna Delaney's got one in Gorinto, we got one in Azalea, uh, Vivian Cody's got one in her yard, Jim, you got one in your yard. So we're starting to see Hillary signs popping up, which is great. Uh, we've got too many Trump signs out in the open, not enough Hillary signs. So I do have one more here, and I could probably get two or three more. And I really that one? Absolutely. So please, they're $15 a piece. Okay. Uh, again, Bobby and Mike Tickner donated $200, and I uh, donated, uh, I put in $200 of my own money as well uh, to make sure we get some of these signs in yards. So I'll, I'll probably, I think I can come up with two or three more if anybody still wants one, if, especially if you know somebody on a busy street. Uh, so up to this point, uh, like I said, we've been doing voter registration drives at VSU. Uh, somebody called me today, uh, after Call me, but they wanted us to kind of go around and talk a little bit about committee members. We did have a committee member meeting before the Meet the Candidates last month. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it went to your, some of your spam emails. It comes from MailChimp, so if you're a new member on the committee, please check your spam folder pretty consistently, because I think only five, four or five people showed up. Eight, the minutes are there on the table. There's eight, eight people showed up out of... 23. 23, so... We need committee members to show up when there are meetings. Uh, we might have one in a couple of weeks. I think it would be a good idea. Uh, I don't know what time works for people. I know in the past we've had them on Saturday mornings, 9 to 10 o'clock. 10. 10 o'clock usually. So we're hoping you might be able to come out for an hour. We'll do some planning um, about how to get people out to vote. So uh, Dennis, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about getting people to the polls. Okay, let me follow up on a couple of things. First of all, 